Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Wake Up Missoula. I'm Scott Ramph. And I am Noelle McFoy. That was Asaph Adonai on piano. Uh, happy Friday, everyone. TGIF. The weekend is upon us, and I know I'm very happy about that. That was some um, good diction with the uh, uh, pronouncing your name. Oh, thank you. You know much. what else has some good diction? The International Choir Festival that's going on in town. <laughs> yes. We have some clips for you guys we want to show you later in the show. Uh, but before we get into that, um, I want to talk a little bit about weather. Weather's been kind of weird. It's been um, maybe about 10, 20 minutes of like solid rain, and then it's mm -hmm. like perfectly clear the light. Yeah. Because that's what happened on Wednesday is that we uh, took the kids to Karis Park, you know, carousel, have some fun, out to lunch, uh, good goodies, and uh, it started raining on the way back. It was yeah. around 2.30, 2.40, and just like pouring on us. Yeah. It was ridiculous. But we got over it, and we made it back uh, alive. So. And those kids are durable. They complained yeah. a little bit, but it and, was you know, And one time. of the kids could have definitely used the shower for sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah those Woo! kids are gross, dirty. Middle schoolers are really gross. I couldn't yeah. find out. Especially the boys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But of yeah. course, uh, today you, um, it is currently 52 degrees outside, so it's, it was a little chilly last night. Uh, if you kept your window open like myself, um, you can expect your high to be 78 and your low to be 47, but of course you still have that 20% chance of um, thunderstorms going on. And of course, Saturday, your weekend, your high is going to be 72, and you, have, you still have that same chance of thunderstorms throughout the weekend. Then by Sunday, you're going to have a nice clear day of 78. Monday, 85 will be the high, so things mm -hmm. are going to start heating up again, and hopefully uh, summer will actually start um, yeah. this over the weekend. Yes, I feel like we've had a lot more cooler days than we've had hot days, so that's kind of a bummer. I want to float the river. I haven't been out yet. And you yeah. can uh, find that out at nationalweatherservice.org, uh, um, and if you want to find out more information about us, you can log on to wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. So nice, we made you write it twice. You can like us on our Facebook page. You can follow us on our Twitter page at Wake Up Missoula. You can also follow Missoula Community Access Television on their Twitter page at MCAT TV Missoula. You can like us on Facebook, and to find out more information, just check out MCAT.org. All right, we got through that, and of course, I do want to show a video of a stop animation that I did. Yeah. I, was, um, I got a chance to do this. Um, sometimes I have to help kids with every, sometimes with a little this and a little that, but this time, you know, everyone was very self-sufficient, so I had time to actually break away and make my own little stop animation. And I'll, we'll talk a little bit more about um, stop animation when we come back after this short uh, stick figure movie. Twenty videos of stop animation, yep. um, themed videos from um, this whole week. Yeah, yeah. so there's we, still plenty of uh, stuff that are going to be probably made today, mm -hmm. and it's going to be live today at 5 p.m. on channel 189, and you can also stream it live on MCAT.org. Yeah, so you guys can tune in, see all the videos that the kids have made this week, hear all about stop motion animation camp as they will tell you a little bit about it and their videos. So, yeah. uh, is there any? Um, videos that have kind of stood out to you this week? Well, you know, I don't know if there are any videos that have really stood out to me. I haven't really been able to go around and like see everyone's videos, but I know that there are lots of groups that are working really, really hard, and then of course there's always a couple kids that don't listen. Oh yeah. yeah. And are not working at all. Yeah. But the groups that are working really hard, we praise them and they're doing a good job. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, yeah, a lot of them are, are doing a great job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For sure. Um, <laughs> Uh, one of the kids, uh, Skyler, um, yes. he made that Rubik's Cube movie we showed on, uh, yep. on, on Wednesday, 
and that was really good for sure. And then he started making a new movie, and uh, if you have a chance to see it, it is completely and utterly violent. It's super violent, but it's actually done really, really well. It's like super good, but it's also like very, violent. very, 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 very gory. Yes. But it's like Legos, and then they and use a lot of like so much Play-Doh to create the uh, to create the blood. But it actually it's... looks like blood. Yeah. In on uh, these poor Legos, it's. Yeah, I, it's I very may be gory. over uh, over exaggerated, but it seems it's, pretty. It's super pretty gory. Violent. Yeah, yeah. It's very violent. I yeah. agree. I always thought that. I also thought that. I, I, I should tell him to put like a viewer discretion advice sticker yeah. on the beginning and tail end of that video just, just for the sake of the parents. Yeah. I think that would also add to it. Yeah, I think so um, too. But of course, uh, this week is the International Choral Festival mm -hmm. uh, in Missoula. So every three years they do the International Choir Festival. And today and tomorrow are the last days you guys get a chance to check it out. Uh, you can log on to the website uh, choralfestival.org and I'll show you that website uh, maybe later in the show but I just mm -hmm. wanted to show you a little taste of some of the performances that happened at Bonner Park on Wednesday night. And then when we come back, we'll have events with Noelle McAvoy. That's her. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hello, you guys. We are back. I don't know. We hope that you guys enjoyed that little taste of what was going on Wednesday. That last one looked pretty cool. I can only imagine with all that long hair and like the movements. Maybe they're from Sweden, Estonia. I don't know. Pretty sweet though. But I've got some events going on for you guys. So on Friday today, I've got activities for your children and you, and then some music for your evening. So at first, starting at 9 a.m. is our Junior Chef's Cook-Off Camp for ages 4 to 8 over at Taste Buds Kitchen. It's only $45 for the day. Um, at 9.30 over at Fa Mismo Gymnastics is their family fun time. This is an open gym for ages walking to 12 years of age. Family story time is at the Missoula Public Library at 10.30 a.m. Um, so this is a theme story time on the Dragon Rug, which may include songs and an art activity. Then we have Tiny Tales, which is for the younger crowd, ages birth through uh, three years, and they sing songs and learn finger plays and hear nursery rhymes and stories as well. Over at Spectrum Discovery area, at 11 a.m., their Discovery Bench is Optics, their Brain Lab is Taste Tests. And then over at the Children's Museum of Missoula, they've got a Mandarin Starters class. It starts at 11 a.m., so their museum assistant is going to be teaching Mandarin to the kids. Super fun. And then we've got our kids table at the Missoula Public Library at 11.30. This is for ages 18 years and younger to get a free snack and free lunch. And then they'll do an art activity afterward. And then we've got another Junior Chef's Cook-Off Camp for ages 9 to 13. This is going to be at Taste Buds Kitchen at 1 o'clock. Uh, and then at 2 o'clock, over in the Denison Theater, two international choirs will perform from 2 to 3 as part of the International Choral Festival. Um, and then also from 3 to 4. Also in the Denison Theater, they'll have more choirs performing. 
At the public library, they have their teen writers group at 3.30, and they're across the street over at the Missoula Butterfly House and Insectarium. They're feeding their, uh, their Chilean rose hair tarantula, Rosie. Yeah, so that's at four. Um, and then over at Kurtz Aquatic Center at 5.30 is a Just for Fun Swim Meet um, at six o'clock. Now we've got some music. Six o'clock is Carla Baumann over at Tens Food Vineyard and Winery. There's traditional Irish music at the Union Club at 6. Margot Clinker will be playing Imagination Brewing Company at 6 p.m. Um, the 90s band, 90s, early 2000s band, Bare Naked Ladies, they're going to be coming to Big Sky. So that'll be uh, from 6 to 9 to Big Sky tonight. Grace Potter will be at the Wilma Theater at 7. The, ga cra the Cave Singers in Dream House will be at the Palace Lounge at 9. Uh, Highway 93 will be at the Sunrise Saloon at 9.30. Joan Zen at the Union Club at 9.30. And then Ben Sol Lee will be playing at Top Hat Lounge at 10 o'clock. That's what I've got going on for your Friday. Up next, we're switching gears and we're going to Musical Notes with Asaf Adonai. By the early 70s, our guest had crystallized his public image as the man in black. He regularly performed dressed in black, wearing a long black knee-length coat. Our guest is J.R. Cash, known to the world as Johnny Cash, the one and only, and there he is. Now, he wore black on behalf of the poor, the hungry, on behalf of the prisoner who has long paid his debt to society and for his crime. And he wore black on behalf of those who were betrayed by age or drugs. So that's where that image came from that he wore black in. You know, all the other country singers of the past, like Buck Owens, they were wearing the sparkly diamond outfits. Mm -hmm. But Johnny Cash chose black because he was making a statement. And also, history says that the house he lived in, even though it was a massive like mansion house, he did it on behalf of those who were poor. It was a statement, because there's a stigma in music that if you're a musician, you're poor. And I think that was part of his legacy too. Now to tell you a little bit about this man, um, let's get my notes here because I had to do it out of order. As I stated, he was born J.R. Cash before he became known as Johnny Cash. And Johnny Cash was an American singer, songwriter, guitarist, actor, and author. And he's considered one of the most influential musicians of the 20th century one of the best-selling music artists of all time, having sold more than 90 million records worldwide. Isn't that something? He was known for his deep baritone voice. I can't imitate him. He had a distinctive sound, and some of his best-known hits were songs like I Walk the Line, False in Prison Blues, which my birth mom was a fan of that song, Ring of Fire, which I played at the beginning of this program, and of course, Man in Black and just tons of others I wouldn't have time to mention. Now, um, he was born in 1932, one of seven children, and since his name was J.R. originally, just J.R. When he enlisted in the Air Force, he was not allowed to use his initials as a first name, and that's how he became known as John R. Cash because of being in the Air Force. In 1955, he changed his name, stage name, to Johnny Cash. And so that's kind of the history buildup. He was married to June Carter because, see, Johnny Cash struggled with drug issues, as most musicians of that period did. And by the time he met this young woman here, she helped him to walk a straight path and continue performing. And, of course, they performed together as husband and wife as a dual team. Later on, as he began to get older, his first autobiography was published in 1975. It sold 1.3 million copies. His second autobiography came out in 1997. And in between then, his friendship with Billy Graham led to a production of a film called The Life of Jesus, another one called The Gospel Road, which he wrote and narrated. And he and his wife appeared on several of the Billy Graham television crusades throughout the 70s and he went on to do some gospel music along with his country music and he just continued singing and leaving the world some great music. He had his own television show at one time that featured people like 
Louis Armstrong and all the other performers of the past. And uh, this is one of his later pictures. He just sang right up to the end. So Johnny Cash left the world some great music and your audience could just look him up and pick any song at random, whether you want young Johnny, middle-aged Johnny, or old Johnny. There, That voice was always there to the end. Mm -hmm. And on that note, I will stop. Nice. Thank you very much, Thanks, Asaph. Asaph. Sure. Yeah. I was Musical Notes with Asaph and I, everyone. And um, I do believe that we've got an art clip to show yes, you guys. Do. So this is uh, at the Missoula Art Museum. It ends July 23rd, I do yep. believe. So get there before it's too late. Mm -hmm. events for your Saturday and I've got a couple things for Sunday too. So uh, for Saturday these events are to keep you outdoors and active and then we've got music for your evening. So at 7 a.m. there's a Bitterroot Trail Ride. It's going to be in various locations. It was pretty vague but if you go to bitterroottrail.com slash bike rides it'll give you more information about what they're doing and where they're starting. Uh, Missoula Farmers Market is at the Red X's at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Clark Fork Market is at Karis Park at 8. And then the People's Market is in front of the Thomas Mar Bar on Pine Street at 9. Um, in Dillon at Bannock State Park, they're exploring the past Bannock days. So this is a celebration of pioneer life. They've got lots of activities running from 9 to 5 all weekend long. Uh, over in Swan Valley Connections, they're going to be doing animal tracks and signs. So it's at 9 a.m. Um, and so you'll be able to observe and correctly interpret the subtle signs that our elusive wildlife species leave behind. Yeah, so um, that is, yeah, over the weekend. You can call 754-3137 uh, for more information and to give a call, yeah. So over at MUD in their Missoula Urban Development Project Central site, they're doing a bow making workshop and they're making traditional self bows. Um, and so it's from a stave of solid wood, uh, but they're not gonna have enough time to create an entire bow, so they're gonna give you like the materials and tell you how to make it, and then I think you have to make it, you know, you can finish it at home or maybe go by there another time. Just call 721-7513 for more info. Over at the Missoula County Fairgrounds, they've got a little red truck vintage and handmade market. It starts at 10 a.m. and that's all day. And then over in Frenchtown, um, on their state park pond, they've got paddleboard lessons. So it's from 11 to 12:30, and then 1 to 2:30. Cost is 45 dollars. Um, yeah, and they provide all the equipment. Over at Traveler's Rest State Park, there is a ribbon cutting ceremony at noon. Um, it's a Missoula to Lolo Trail ribbon cutting ceremony. So they have just started to finish that now. And then over at the Garden of 1000 Buddhas in R. Lee, they've got their weekly garden tours and meditation. So they've got a garden tour at 1 and then a meditation at 2 o'clock. And then over at Silver Park at 2 o'clock is a uh, Montana Bicycle Celebration Expo. The bike demos, uh, nonprofits, cycling services and products, food vendors, activities. Awesome. Oh, 
and then over in front of the Zootown Arts Community Center, it's the North Side West Side Block Party. It starts at 3 p.m. So it's in between the Zach and the Kettle House, starting at 3, and a celebration of the North Side and the West Side. It's a pretty great neighborhood. Andre Floyd is going to be playing at Ten Spoon Vineyard and Winery at 6 p.m. And then uh, there's a Saturday Night Live music series with Brian J. will be at Imagination Brewing Company at 6. The International Choral Festival Finale Concert will be at the Adams Center at 7 p.m. tomorrow night. Um, so it will feature the pageantcy of the Parade of Nations and brief performances by each festival choir. Yeah, so you'll have to have your button to attend the show, though. Then we've got Josh Ritter <laughs> and J.J. Gray at the Wilma Theater at 7. Absolutely, with Chris Moon at the Badlander at 9. Cash for Junkers at the Sunrise at 9.30. Heavy Eyes, Swap Ritual, and Wizard will be playing at Stage 112 at 10. Um, Canyon Collector will be playing at the Top Hat Lounge at 10 as well. So that's what I've got going on for you for Saturday, and now I'm just going to jump right into Sunday events. So Sunday at 9 a.m. over at Best Reed Park, they've got their Windmire Sup Cup. And so is Paddleboard Race down the Clark Fork River. It starts at 9 a.m. and until the early afternoon. And then they'll be partying with music and awards at the Best Reed Park from 11 to 3, right after that. Over at the Missoula Art Museum is a Bike Art Blast Workshop from 10 to noon. Uh, you can bring your bike to Ma'am's Side Yard to use museum, use museum materials. Washable paint, ribbons, and found jingles and jangles to create a colorful and noisy bike to parade down Sunday streets, which goes hand in hand with Bike of Palooza. So, Bike of Palooza will kick off Sunday streets, which is happening this Sunday. Um, and so, it'll be a three to four mile ride around Missoula's Trail Sparks and Giveaway in Greenways. Um, and then you can decorate your bike, you know, at the Missoula Art Museum just before, and bike that down and bike it all around Higgins. And so on Sunday streets, starting at noon, Higgins from noon to four will be closed all the way from the Red X's up until Fifth Street. And there'll be so many different activities. They'll have yoga, they'll have, uh, let's see, yoga, ula, live music. They'll have kids activities, hula hooping, street art, bike polo, improv games, spike ball, and more. If you want to find out more information, go to sundaystreetsmissoula.org and they'll give you a full schedule of events and everything happening this weekend. But it's always good to get out and appreciate your community and Sunday Streets doesn't happen very often. So it's good to get out there. Um, and then we've got Ula at the Barn Movement Studio at 1.30. So if you don't want to be outside in the hot sun, you can go into the Barn Movement Studio and do that inside. Uh, and then over to Adventure Cycling Association, they've got a uh, kind of like a book signing and more and like a presentation. It's uh, Greg Sipple and Max Mac McCoy are authors of America's Bicycle Route, the story of the Trans America Bicycle Trail. So they'll talk about that. They'll sign their books and there'll be books for sale. We've got Sunday Night Jazz with Monk's New Brew and Imagination Brew Company at six. And then over at the Roxy Theater, they're going to be showing a 2001 A Space Odyssey at 7 o'clock. So that's what I've got going on for your weekend. Check out MissoulaEvents.net, the University of Montana website, um, and the Independent and the Missoulian for more events. But we're switching gears now. We have, we're going we have to... some more uh, videos for oh, you guys cool. at the International Choir Festival. Uh, this is from Thursday, and this is at the Denison Theater and at the Missoula Public Library. And we're going to come back. Uh, I have just a couple of things I wanted to mention about um, what we're doing in expanding of the city council. So stay with us. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. 
good. That last one really gave me shivers. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, so you get to uh, see um, mu uh, music from all sorts of different countries. Yeah. And if you miss it all, Adam Center is a great place to go check them all out because they show, they pr probably perform their best music at the I Adam Center. I would think so, yeah. Like, each probably si choir sings one song. Yeah, and, and there's probably so like many. their best songs. There's so many of them. Yeah. So you guys can check that out. And of course, one thing I do have to mention is that uh, um, MCAT is, um, has now decided to start streaming um, local government um, on our uh, Facebook channel. So you guys can check that out every time. If you like us on Facebook, you'll get a notification telling you that you will get uh, videos from our land use and planning meeting. Wow. You'll get it from our land use and planning meeting and more oh. land use and planning meeting. Um, land use and planning meeting again. So all sorts of wonderful things on our Facebook page that you guys can check out. Uh, these are all like government meetings. Um, and if you like us on MK, on our Missoula Community Access Television Facebook page, you'll get notifications about when we are live for all your city council needs and seeing what's going on, especially um, the land use and planning, mm -hmm. uh, because uh, that was the meeting where they were talking about the uh, the demolition of the mercantile, because they put it back to committee. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming it probably was a fairly long meeting for everybody. Yeah. All right, so that's pretty much all I needed to say in terms of MCAT related stuff. But one more thing, um, one more time tonight at five live on mm -hmm. channel one eighty nine, um, we're going to be showing all the kids videos we've shot this week for Animation Camp Week, and of course next week it'll be the exact same thing with a whole new group of kids with yeah. animation. And then the last week is all about zombies. Ah! So um, thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, you can like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Uh, <laughs> You can go to our website, um, our Wix page, and of course, to find out um, your listings about the International Choir Festival, go to choralfestival.org. Um, I think we're about out of time, and for Wake Up Missoula, I'm Scott Ramp. <laughs> and after a very winded Scott Ramp, I'm well back with. <laughs> you gotta remember to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a staff out of nine piano, and we will see you all Monday morning.